what we're doing now is putting in a false wrap and a tail. In other words, for a horse that really has no tail, it's a long, flat piece of braided hair, and you start off at the bottom of your dock and start sectioning off and picking up small bits of hair and plaiting it in as such. You always need an assistant. If you haven't got someone to help you, it's nearly impossible because you must hold the hair out. The hair's got to go over the top of the false piece and you plait down about an inch and a half. Then, as you may, you got a little pouch here and you rubber band it. And then you do a full wrap of the tail again, as I'll show you in a second, and finish it off. But it's quite time consuming. Don't think you can do this in five minutes. It takes at least 20 minutes to half an hour half an hour to put a tail in, so don't leave it to your last bit. Then you pick the tail up, wrap it around, and Marty, who is important, going to hold the hair like that, so then I can pick up this last bit to finish it off, and you plait it in. But whatever you do, do not have your plaits over the top of each other, you end up with a big bunch. You must have them like one to one side of the other. Don't have them one on top of the other because it will leave a, a big lump in your tail. Because remember you've got a horse that's got a chewed off tail and not a very good tail so you try to camouflage the fact that you're putting in a false tail. They're very good in Arabs and things like that, horses that need extra length in their tail that naturally don't grow great tails but they're also very good in show horses that have had them chewed off. You pick up a little bit of hair and you pick a bit of the dock up, hair out of the horse's dock, a bit of, bit of your wrap and as you get to the top try and get your plaits a bit finer because that's where your hair is going ah, your hair is going to be thinner and you plait down as such a, don't, you don't have to plait down very far like inch and a half but try and keep your hair laying flat and don't make your plaits too big and then you rubber band it off at the end and I'll brush it down in a minute, show you how to pull the hair out and then we'll cut it off to the pony's right length. And we can get a hook or a comb and pull some hair out so then you get a camouflage your wrap on the side. And actually this hook is very good for it because you just get bits and pieces out. If you go through it and you have a look and it starts to show a bit, you just go under it and pull some more hair out. See, she needs a little bit more pulled out here at the top of it. There we are. You can bandage that down and I'll show you how to cut it off. Then once again, you hold the hair of your tail really flat to the length you want it. And you cut it off, but your scissors must be sharp. You do one cut to get the hair off. And then, same thing, you get your hair flat and see it hasn't come out level. And you just trim, as I say again, that underneath side, just that fraction shorter and the corners off it because the corners and the underneath fall shorter than the top. And that's it. And to show you that you can't see it, you fan it out and a judge can pick it up and they cannot even see that it's a wrap in there. You can see it up, you go very close, but it really is, it's a very, and a horse carries it very, very naturally. It's like it's theirs.